Hi there, we're here today with Amy from the Elder Care Program, which is part of the Catholic Housing and Community Services. And the Giving Tree does work with Amy and the Catholic Housing Services. And we wanted to educate everybody a little bit today on what Amy does and what the Elder Care Program makes available to our seniors. So Amy, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you do? I work for Catholic Housing and Community Services, which is part of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. And uh, they have programs such as senior centers, sen senior housing, the elder care program, in-home support. There is a helpline that seniors can call as well um, and some other departments that they have. Okay, that's great. What types of things do you find that you are able to assist our elders with? Specifically with my position in the elder care program is I work directly with seniors, usually in their home. We can provide them with case, case management. Um, all the services are free to the seniors um, through their churches. And um, I can help them with housing transitions if they're looking to move into maybe a 55 and older community, um, transitions from being in the hospital or a rehab facility, going home, um, applying for different services such as uh, Medicare and Medicaid, um, helping families with any kind of resources and referrals that they might need. Okay, that's great. So possibly if the senior needed help getting a doctor's appointment made or, yes. you know, a yep. appointments for haircuts or anything like that. We've done everything and okay. all in between. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, many seniors probably don't have family nearby, so it's probably very comforting for those people who have seniors in the area and they're not there that you're there to help them. It is, and, and, it's, and it's funny that you should bring that up because um, usually after the holidays is when I usually get the busiest because people come home and they kind of see how maybe their parents or their aunt um, who's elderly are maybe having some decline or some issues and then the family will reach out to us a lot of times uh, right after the holidays. Um, but it is a comfort because not only can we provide those services, but we're also companionship in the home and we can help the family keep an eye on what's happening in the home and on the senior. Um, and it really is reassuring to people that live further right. away that there is somebody there keeping an eye on them. Exactly. So I'm sure this also helps the seniors stay socially connected because I'm sure that's a very big challenge. Absolutely, a absolutely. Staying socially connected is just so important for their just overall well-being. Um, and it is more difficult, especially if they start to encounter things like not being able to drive anymore, or maybe they're going through some depression because they lost their spouse. Um, so it is important to let people know what's out there available for them um, and to help them um, figure out how to get there and ways to access these resources. That's great. I'm sure loneliness is such a factor. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. Unfortunately, it is a factor. Um, and a lot of people do become isolated as a senior. And um, that is definitely something that, you know, all of the departments within Catholic Housing and Community Services try to um, combat is, is that isolation. Gotcha. Um, so I do want to talk a little bit about, I know the Giving Tree is able to provide you with gifts from time to time and I know that we've given you quite a few of our cozy care planners yes and this is just one of the gifts that we are able to put together the students put these together for our seniors and this is just an example of what it looks like um, the kids do a great job with decorating um, they decorate the pots they fill them and we've given so many out hundreds of these out um, and you know this is just an example of one thing and I wondered if you could share a little bit with us about how the seniors feel when they receive things like this I mean we have so many great cards that are made yeah um, and I know the seniors like to keep them so if you could tell us a little bit about that absolutely um, whenever they do get the, the the gifts from I mean we call them gifts we call them right. gift bags for whatever and uh, the seniors just they just love them they're always just thrilled and you know surprised is this is this for me and they you know even though the cards do come and they're you know they're general is that they really do take them to heart and they feel like they are theirs and um and they're like oh you know john is such a nice kid for making this card for me and then we'll go back months later and the cards are still hanging up on their refrigerators or on their bulletin boards or they taped them up or um and, and the flower pots are still there so they really do 
enjoy these things and love getting the, the, the gifts that somebody thought about them. Right. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, I'm glad that we were able to connect and share a little bit more about what you do and about what Catholic Housing Community Services offers. Um, so thank you so much for coming today and for chatting with us for our Thanks impact for having interview. Me. Thanks. Thanks for having me.